this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica but as my new year resolution is to lose weight i have already paid the fees for my gym then how can you say that exercise isn't the best way to lose weight surprised yes this is true the best way to lose weight is not exercise hello and welcome to the new episode of biotechnica my name is kajol and i will unreveal certain misconceptions revolving around the strategies to lose weight i will basically highlight about why and how irrespective to the huge myriads of benefits that we incur from exercise it still doesn't help us to lose weight there is another major factor influencing weight loss and that is what we eat that has a bigger impact on your waistline in today's time obesity being a global epidemic has arisen due to stressful and unhealthy lifestyle conditions and shouldn't be just treated by exercise and lowering the quantity of food public health policies should be prioritizing in order to increase the intake of good quality and healthy food we have grown up hearing that exercise is the most important tool in losing weight despite evidences through scientific studies that have repeatedly shown that exercise alone might not bring down weight there are many other major factors like diet that play a crucial role one of the nutritionist at portia medical named priyanka verma had an eye opening view about exercise she states just before the onset of new year you will see advertisement saying join the gym on jan 1 and kick start your weight loss goal for the year to burst the bubble there has been several studies which shows that exercise isn't all that important for weight loss but this doesn't mean that exercise isn't good it is in fact the great for the body overall health a major ill habit that we humans have is that we ignore and avoid calculating calories in versus calories out per day in fact if you observe and if you note carefully most people end up eating more right after the exercise a single slice of pizza for example could undo the benefit of an hours workout so could a cafe mocha or an ice cream cone states verma do you remember how many times you must have seen an advertisement or have experienced an instructor echoing a message suggesting us that if we get on a trade milk or a bike we can keep indulging and still lose weight countless gym memberships sports beverages fitness tracking devices workout videos are being sold on this false promise that exercise can lose weight now one interesting study which highlights evolutionary clue on losing weight was being given by anthropologist herman ponzer who set out from hunter college in new york to tanzania he went to study one of the rare and the remaining hunter gatherer tribes on the planet called hadza his main assumption was that he expected the tribal group to be calorie burning machines now in almost all urban cities of the world we observe that people spend most of their time glued to chairs working on computers or involved in not so rigorous activities but unlike them hadza tribe are continuously on a move for most of the time of their lives men usually are involved in rigorous hunting activities and searching honey on trees while females look for plants dig up tubers look out for wild berries in the bushes they are on the high end of physical activity for any population that's been looked at ever podzer stated now hence by studying about the rigorous lifestyle of hadza tribe ponzer had an assumption that he would find statistical evidences to support the age old conventional belief that obesity is correlated to our inactive lives as compared to our ancestor and these hadza tribe making several trips in the middle of the savannas in 2009 and 2010 and by tracking the activities and energy burn of 13 men and 17 women in the age group of 18 to 75 years of age using a very 
nice method called as doubly labeled water which is best known way to measure the carbon dioxide we expel as we burn energy they explored the correlationship between the physical activities done and the energy burn in relation to these activities being carried out now analysis carried out with these numbers had an astonishing results we were really surprised when the energy expenditure among hadza was no higher than it is for the people in us and europe stated ponzer this result this research and its findings were published in 2012 in the journal plus one surprisingly even when hunter and gatherers were physically active healthy and lean they burned the same amount of calories every day as any average american or european would do ponzer's study was preliminary and imperfect at it only considered only the 30 participants that too from only one community now despite this it still comes to a big surprise as to how hunting and foraging hadza possibly burn the same amount of energy as lethargic westerners ponzer further dig into the facts to understand and to find reasonings behind these interesting and unexpected findings now with respect to respect to the energy expenditure and calorie burning scientists have shown that it is not just the movement but also thousands of the other bodily functions which are involved in it these other thousands of bodily functions are often ignored or considered insignificant in the context of global obesity epidemic there might be many reasons for the hadza having the same trend to burn calories as westerners like conserving energy on other tasks or resting more when they have free time from everyday hunting activities these factors might contribute to lower their overall energy expenditure science is still exploring and evolving on these lines it is necessary to explore to what extent energy expenditure is dependent upon exercise and how other bodily functions to contribute to this particular energy expenditure these evidences highlight the phenomena that we have been observing for a very long period of time and that is how it is extremely difficult to lose weight just by exercising another interesting findings around not losing weight even after burning tons of calories through exercising is cause of inflammation yes you heard me right over exercising causes inflammation the scientific reason behind this phenomena is that inflammation deprive your metabolism of your body and most of the bodily function is concentrating on healing from this particular exercise inflammation preferred as chronic cardio it increases your stress hormone cortisol leading to a cascades of events like raising blood sugar levels and triggering the release of insulin your fat storing hormone this particularly leads to your weight gain this proves that for an effective scientific solution to a problem we need to look from all the angles it also explains why your body is not able to lose weight by rigorous exercise but in fact starts gaining weight after a point so in order to put it in a right manner exercise remains to be one of the best activities for your overall health but it's not the sole and the right weapon to fight the battle of obesity rather right diet and detailed knowledge about calorie burning functions are necessary to analyze in order to have an understanding about the ways for effective weight loss while exercise enhances health in numerous ways by strengthening the heart and lungs with reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndromes such as hypertension high blood sugar also helps in keeping check on excess body fat around the waist and abnormal cholesterol and triglycerides levels it should be amalgamated with the right diet in order to have a better results if you want to lose weight so keep a check on your diet also if you wish to lose weight 
Thank you for listening my podcast. Stay tuned to hear more interesting ones. Thank you.